Hello, hello my lovelies and welcome to this week's video. So, you're probably wondering why the hell is she doing this car again? I don't want to see that. Seen it already. But today I'm with the owner who's going to tell us all about the joys of owning of this beast. <laughs> I want one for myself one day. Everything's got a price, Victoria. Well, one day when you're ready to um, to get rid of her, I'm here. I've got first dibs on it. You have, haven't I now? Fez is going to be quite disappointed. Well, he's convinced that you know there's going to be another one coming out, and he's going to buy it. And it's not happening. Well, it's not happening. Tell Fez that. Fez, are you <laughs> listening? You heard it here first, mate. You know. So how long have you had Felicity? It was her one year birthday last <gasps> April. And she is how old? Two. She is yeah, two, so, so you yeah, got her when a, she was a year old. Yeah, she's a 2018. And did you stumble upon her by accident? Did you know that you were looking for Focus RS? How did, how did I'd you wanted know? one from the minute Ford started saying they were making one. And um, I'd followed everything, every video, absolutely everything. So you're a proper nerd? Yeah, I love RSs. Right. I've had a few. But um, when I went to get one, then this whole head gasket thing happened. Uh -huh. Couldn't get finance in Spain, so. Because you actually bought her in Spain, so she is a Spanish car? No, it's actually German. Oh, okay. I had it imported from Germany. Right. And then registered her here because yeah. she's on Spanish plates now. Exactly. Oh. See. And what did you have before? I had a size. Honda S2000, a 05, very, very particular, you don't mention that. I feel like, um, Facelift. I feel like you were on a Fast and Furious kind of I'd always, I'd always wanted one of them as well. Um, they're not the, they're quite nippy, brake handling, sound amazing. But, um, I just went through a few different phases. But you had engine problems, right? <clears throat> Is that why you changed? Uh, yeah, well, when you say problem. Well, I, I want you to elaborate on it. Um, well, it blew up. Just that was the problem. Well, that's a, that's a problem, isn't it, I guess, when it blows up. Yeah. And you just thought, fuck it, it I'm not going to bother. Fault. So it was your fault. No, it was something it come off the back of a wagon and went through the front of the car. Are you serious right now? So, I've got, I've got the thing, I've actually got it on What my, was it? A big, like, industrial bolt. And just from that, so yep. it must have hit exactly where it shouldn't have. Straight through the radiator. Within seconds, it lost all its water. No! And the engine light come on, and that was it. Tell you what. I sat by the side of the motorway, just like... <laughs> when things are meant to happen, they're meant to happen. Because you, that, could, that scenario could happen a hundred times over, mm. and it wouldn't hit directly where it did in your case. Well, it, feathered the nest for getting this, didn't it? So. Well, it did. And what are your plans? Are you going to keep it? Have you done anything to her since you've had it? So you've had it now for just over a year. What have you, have you done any modifications to her? She's still nope. completely standard. Standard. The thing is, I can't really do anything because the, it's still in warranty. Right. Still got another um, year, was it? Is it three yeah. years warranty? Even all the, um, the mod, the warranty friendly stuff that like Mount Tune do, uh -huh. it's not recognised in Spain. Right. And uh, I wouldn't want to avoid my insurance, God forbid. God forbid. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I don't think there's anything that needs to be done to her. Like, no. aesthetically, she's gorgeous. It's not like you'd go into changing alloys or adding a wing here or the thing is, make is this, her any wider. There's nothing to be done to her. This version's got everything, every option the other one had. And then plus more, it's got the limited slip diff, it's got these little blue trims on the seat. Yeah. The roof's black, the spoil's black. There is a black. So I was completely shocked at this car. I did not expect what I got out of it at all. I think I was, even I was, when I got it, I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't expect it at all. Now, I had heard so much about this car 
before and then so much about it even more when I was hanging out with Feza. I never ever got to drive his one. This was the first encounter I had and I was completely shocked. <laughs> it's just so much fun. How often do you do that? <laughs> Pretty much constantly. What's of your consumption like on that note? Um, bad. Yeah? It means, I mean, I, I get like 400 from a tank maybe. Okay. Not a lot of that is in Church of England. To fill up the tank as well? About 60 euros? Yeah, about 60 quid. Thing. So is this the car that you drive every day? To, is it your? Is this the only car that you have at home? Yeah. And does it work for you? Um, I'm not going to drive it seven days a week, um, or five for work, sorry. So we were like, me and my friend were like driving on alternative days. Okay. And why was that? Just because you want to keep the mileage down? Yeah, yeah I mean... Because she's got 30,000 now, right? So she's averaging 15,000 kilometres a year. So by the time I get my hands on this, she'll probably <laughs> have like 45 or something, you know? I don't, I don't want to put too much on it. I don't want you to put too much on it either. <laughs> so what do you think, what do you think you'll go for next? I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, I keep thinking of getting something really like luxury or something, but I like going fast. The thing is... I have thought about like an old Impreza. That's what I was going to say that I could imagine you in. I can't imagine you in anything too posh. Just because as Feza, you dress like a teenage boy. <laughs> right? When you get to my age, you'll, you'll start doing it. <laughs> well, I still dress like a teenage boy. <laughs> but I have no intention of changing that whatsoever. So, you haven't caused any damage to her whatsoever? Nope. Until... <laughs> Until the dreaded toll booth. The dreaded toll booth. So... So for those of you, including Fezza, that gave me so much shit for damaging Fezza's M4 alloy, I'm not the only one. It's not your fault. It's not, it right? It wasn't my fault either. It's none of our faults, because we're not incompetent drivers. No. I mean, I'm not, and I don't think you are either, you know? So, they just need to sort the shit out. I think they've done it on purpose. I think they've got some sort of scheme going with... You go through, and then there's a little kick. It narrows. It does, it narrows, so it's not and it's only on the pay with card. Only with the pay with card. So I'm punishing people for technology. For pay with card. Yeah, exactly. So have you done any track days? Have you taken her anywhere? No, I was going to do one. Um, Love these seats. But at the minute, obviously, with everything going on, I don't know what the plan is. I yeah. think it's going to need some new tyres maybe in the next six months. So I thought that would probably be a good time to go in. So thank you for that drive. You're more than welcome. I, um, I was going to drive today, but I just feel like... It's like having a little piece of cake. We even brought. You did. You <laughs> brought me a, a pillow. Thank a you pillow so much. Pillow of shame. For being a little short ass. Can't well, be as tall as me. well, exactly. You can't be perfect. Can you imagine if I was taller too? Then people would just be like, "That's just stuff," wow. you know. Yeah. <laughs> they broke the mold now. <laughs> Super like. Oh God. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us. More than welcome. Thank you for taking me for a drive. Thank you for cake and whatnot cake. it was it was a pleasure seeing you before we go for anyone debating if or not to buy a focus rs quick pros and cons three pros three cons if you can think of any pros it's got more grip than you need especially the edition like this one um it's quick quicker than you'll surprise quite much more expensive cars. Dude, value for money and I've driven yeah. everything and, and anything. And it, it's actually quite comfortable. It's, I heard horror stories in England, but we have really smooth roads here and I've done some driving and it's absolutely fine. Apart from the speed bumps. I think our tarmac quality is really good, but yeah. it's the speed bumps that are a nightmare. Maybe as an everyday car, it would be a little bit too yeah, stiff, but it depends what, you, what your normal daily drive is anyway, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, so the cons there, I mean, are obviously, if you drove it every day, it drinks fuel. Because you're not going to drive it easy. There's no point. Why would you buy it yeah. if you're going to drive it easy? Um, the other cons, I'm not really sure there is any. I don't think there are any. Other than the whole, like, not wanting to leave it anywhere because of the paint. True. People go, you, you know, maybe people go, oh, it's just a blue focus. It's not blue focus. No, is it? The well, paint, like, you can't even appreciate it on on the video the paint has this deep sparkle to it but it's so subtle mm. 
and so gorgeous oh god damn it but i would i would probably worry about where to park especially here because we've had this discussion before people don't care no here no. like i don't think people care in general about other people's property but here in spain it's like it's a car like it doesn't matter but if i if it was my money that i was paying and i had to choose between an rs3 or focus rs definitely get a focus rs yeah because value for money wise and the drivability and that's well. saying a lot because the rs3 for me is like oh i mean it's like the whole people say like oh yeah but a golf r it's much nicer inside and that that's fine but i'm looking in that direction mostly yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. i don't know an audi's more refined and so on but you can kick this out i've never even used the drift mode turn the esp off you know put it in race mode let the back end drift out it's you know i still have dreams about her and it's been months now <laughs> so anyway I'm guys i'm gonna go <laughs> get back <laughs> i'm gonna get back to work and make some honey <laughs> so i can start to make this guy an offer for the car as it may be the last of its kind right to ford I think well, not to Fezzer. I, <laughs> I think he obviously knows something the Ford doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. I think we should um, establish a price now. I'll finish the video and then we can establish a price. I want it in writing. Yeah. That if they don't bring out any more, you can't say all of a sudden I want extra it's like double, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye.